hey guys, Richard Simpson here with another video, I'm doing another Persona video. This time I've taken my spider Sona that I did in a previous video, links in the description for that, and I've venomized it, or symbio symbiotized it. Well, let's just say this time I'm making my Venom Sona. If I were a host for a symbiote, like in the Venom movie. I was doing some prelim sketches and liked one so much I used that as the base for this piece. Originally I wanted to record myself drawing out the figure and everything, but when I was practicing for this video I come up with this pose and everything and I thought it looked great. So that's why the video starts with me going straight into the line work. With this design, I wanted to make him huge, because I always liked when artists in the comics would make Venom this huge hulking monster, just really intimidating and scary. I wanted to utilize something like that here, make him big. Also, you can see, I added the beard, because that's the most important thing, and my backwards hat. I don't know why, I don't usually wear my hat backwards, but when I start drawing, for some reason, I always end up spinning that sucker around. So that's when you know shit's getting serious. So, have any of you guys seen the Venom movie? Let, you, let me know what you thought about it in the comments. I personally, I liked it a lot. Um, I wish it was rated R. I wish we could have seen a little more gore, a little more Venom ripping some guys apart and stuff like that. But beggars can't be choosers, right? I really hope for the next one we can see a lot more stuff like that. A little more action. Can't wait to see... Carnage. I think it's Woody Harrelson's playing Carnage. It's going to be nice. Let me know what you guys think about that too.
This time I'm going to be doing a bit more inking in a different coloring method than my last few videos. The last few videos I've done, they've had a very simple cartoony cell shaded coloring style. This time around I wanted to do something, I don't want to say painterly, but a more shaded and blended style of coloring. Let me know which style you guys like better in the comments after the video's over. Uh, the simple, quick, cartoony, cell shaded style like in my previous videos, or this smooth, digital, painting-like style I'm doing for this guy here. I'm curious, what do you guys like better?
some reason, I don't know why, but I'm particularly happy with how the rendering of the mouth and tongue turned out. It's those little things that I like. Like, uh, let me know if you guys are like this. Uh, for some reason, like, when I'm reading a comic or something, or I'm looking at other people's art, th there's little things that I really like about them. I don't... It's like I always pick out when, like, a hand is drawn really well, or this guy really did an awesome angle on this face, or this hair we're whipping in the wind. It's... I always get drawn to these little things. And, like, with this, the tongue and the mouth and stuff, I thought turned out great. Let me know what you guys think. see here there's a background now a few little changes in colors too well i may or may not have remembered to hit the record button i don't know who can say but that's here now and it wasn't before i drew it thought i recorded it but it must not have happened <laughs> Here you can see I'm adding some veins and subtle highlights on the skin and eyes, help it pop. And as, if you've seen the Venom movie with Tom Hardy, that Venom doesn't have the spider symbol on it. It has like these white and gray veins all over it. So I'm trying to catch something like that here. Here's the finished piece, my Venom Sona, my Venomized Spider Sona. My this thing right here i really hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did please like comment and subscribe hit the bell icon to get notified when i post new videos so you don't miss out and be sure to check out these other great videos on my channel here love you guys and i'll see you in the next video